Kuhlman and his family believe he's the victim of a flawed criminal justice system. He was arrested after he was assaulted by an angry ex-girlfriend who showed up at his front door. Ralph Iannotti is live with more new at 11. Ralph. Did the police in the city of Aliquippa arrest the wrong person in a case of domestic violence? Some cell phone video taken by a man now in jail suggests that may be the case. The Beaver County Jail. This is where 24-year-old Justin Lindsay has been locked up now for nearly a week, charged with simple assault and harassment. You go on to jail, I hit don't me. Care. Spit on me again. Come right here, I will. Lindsay's arrest stemmed from this incident at his Aliquippa home last Friday when his former girlfriend showed up. Lindsay recorded the confrontation on his cell phone. He was on the porch with another woman at the time, along with he and his ex-girlfriend's small child. What am I mad for? The mother drove up, seen the other woman, and she just snapped out. Lindsay and his ex-girlfriend exchanged verbal insults. After a few minutes, his ex came at him with a metal pipe. I'm wet the f out of you, dead in your f striking him and knocking the phone out of his hand. The ex-girlfriend left Lindsay's house, but she didn't go home. She went immediately to authorities. She hasn't been charged because she told that he did this assault to her. They went and she called a 24-hour magistrate on Friday, and he went on and gave her a PFA and told Aliquippa police to pick my son up. The Lindsays and their son drove here to the police station, but they got nowhere, they say, when they tried to explain what happened. Me and his dad went with him to turn himself in to the police. They refused to look at the video, refused to really hear his side. Twyla Lindsay has spent the past week knocking on doors and making phone calls, trying unsuccessfully to get her son bailed out because she believes he's been treated unfairly by what she calls the criminal injustice system. And with the start of the long Labor Day holiday weekend just one day away, uh, Lindsay says her son has a job in Robinson Township, and if he's not out of jail by next Tuesday, he'll likely lose that job. We're live tonight. I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA-TV News.